Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the roles and responsibilities related to quality control engineer. Before going to that one, we need to make sure that our roles and responsibilities must cover the below topics. And the first one is inspection and testing, non-conformance management, documentation, collaboration, audit and compliance, and training and support. Now we will see 17 important roles and responsibilities complying all these important points in a detailed way. The first requirement for the quality engineer, he must have hands-on knowledge in the preparation of ITP or inspection and test plan, method statement for all the activities or procedure, material submittal for all the materials, operation and maintenance manual and other handover document. This is one of the very important points related to quality control engineer. And coming to the second one related to drawing, uh, he should have good knowledge in the verification or validation of design drawings, IFC drawings, mechanical soft drawings, red line drawing and aspel drawing and also layout, equipment schedule, schematic and single line diagram. Here one more important thing is preparation of drawings are part of design engineer's scope of work but quality engineer must have the uh, important knowledge to verify or validate all these drawings. Coordination with the site team for the site daily inspection report for all the activities because whenever your activity is finished for example if you are installing one particular item after that you have to raise the site daily inspection report so your site engineer will inform to you so you have to coordinate with the consultant or the client to raise the inspection request and before going to that one you, you must verify internally whether the work is complying to all the requirement after that you have to raise the external request to the consultant or contractor or uh, means other client so responsible to verify inspection requests and conduct inspection along with the engineers and consultant and follow up open comments of consultant for effective closure because sometimes the consultant will give you some comments related to your work so you have to follow up that one properly with your site team and you have to make the uh, coordination with the consultant for the complete close out of the comments and next to that ensure proper material storage and handling as per manufacturer recommendation because when you receive the material submittal from the different manufacturer for different materials uh, you can see that one they have clearly mentioned that how the material should be properly stored and how it should be handled so once you receive the material to the site you have to coordinate with your site team for the proper material storage to avoid the non-conformance so responsible for analysis and reporting of non-conformity at site level example preparing ncr or non-conformance report and site observation report for example if you are seeing some activity which is not complying to the contract document documents or the local codes and standard then you have to raise the ncr and the ncr based on the activity level means how serious the activity based on that one you have you have to raise ncr and the sor for example, if you see that activity is completely deviating from the contract documents, you have to you have to raise the NCR or if you find any some minor observation, then you can raise the SOR. And next to that, assure all technical documents related to the site quality control are current and in approved status. Because coming to the drawing, for example, there will be multiple revisions like revision A, B, C or revision 1, 2, 3. So as a quality engineer, you have to make sure that the site engineers are executing the approved status of the drawing, I mean the recent approved status of drawing to avoid the rework in the project site. Responsible for preparation of project quality control checklist for example if you see the installation activity testing commissioning for all the activities you have to have the quality checklist which you which normally we attach in the method statement together so the site engineer must comply to all these things so you have to assure that the pro means the quality control checklist are properly maintained and followed in the site responsible for incoming material inspection against the approved met submittal, material submittal and record the conformity level during incoming inspection. So once you receive the material to the site, you have to verify the dimension, you have to verify all the test certificate against the approved material submittal. And you have to monitor all measurements and testing instruments employed for mechanical works and make sure those are functional and calibrated because in the site if you are using some instrument to measure the dimension you have to make sure that proper calibration lists are maintained uh, in the quality documents so you can get the exact answer for that one because sometime when you go for the auditing also this will be verified uh, so your quality engineer must have good knowledge of all the calibration records. Maintain clear, accurate records of inspection, test, reports as per contract documents and project quality plan. 
prepare and submit a regular quality control reports to project managers and senior management. So coordinate with the contractors, subcontractors and suppliers to ensure quality standards are met during construction and to resolve any quality related concerns. And finally, support internal and external audits to ensure compliance with the project specification, local regulation and international standard like ISO 9001. During the auditing, the auditor will ask, ask all the records and test reports and everything. So as a quality engineer, you see it is completely your responsibility to properly maintain the documents for the auditing purpose. And next to that, we have to work closely with the architect and other engineers to ensure seamless integration of MEP system within overall building design. So we have to have proper coordination with other departments like electrical engineers and architectural and structural engineers for the successful completion of the project. Then coordination between clients, other contractors, other consultants at site, vendors, design department and attending associated meeting related to the site. Provide quality awareness training to site team. This is one of the compulsory requirement for uh, most of the projects. You have to provide quality training related to that particular work before starting the work. So you have to ensure that all personnel are familiar with the project quality requirements and the procedures. Implement and monitor quality control processes for construction activities on site. Ensuring that work is performed in accordance with the approved plans, drawings and specification, local building codes, standards, safety regulations and environmental standards. Finally, you have to monitor the close out of punch list for incomplete works related to mechanical work. This is, this is normally happening at the end of the project. So as a quality engineer, this is your responsibility to monitor and to close the punch list for the proper handover of the project. In addition to all these responsibilities, you must have some technical and soft skill related to quality control engineer. So you should have the proficiency in AutoCAD, Revit and other engineering software to verify the drawings and other documents to confirm that your documents are compliant to the contract documents requirements. Strong knowledge of quality management system, QMS and construction industry standard and ISO 9001. Yes, experience in material testing, site inspection and quality assurance process. Then you should have the familiarity with the local building codes, regulation and standards. And you should have the ability to manage multiple projects simultaneously and work under tight deadlines because some of the small contractor, they will allocate a single quality engineer to ma manage two, three projects. So you, you will have to work under tight deadlines. So this is one of the important requirement. Mostly the contractors are expecting that one. So communication skill, because in the site you have to coordinate with the different uh, people from different nationalities. So you should have excellent written and verbal communication skill with the ability to produce clear and accurate reports, strong interpersonal skill for lessing with site teams, contractor and clients. So these are the important roles and responsibility and technical and soft skill you must have as a quality control engineer. So thank you for watching the video. We will meet again with another interesting topic. Thank you.